Christ. These are uh, great readings again for us as we continue to uh, work our way towards the end of uh, the end of the liturgical year. Uh, now we see in earnest these four last things: uh, life and death, heaven and earth, uh, heaven and hell, and final judgment. And <clears throat> the essentially what the readings, the gospel today reminds us of something very important: that you can't become Catholic in a weekend. That uh, and you can't become a good character or, or a holy person in a weekend. That basically what Jesus was trying to tell the, uh, the people who had gathered around him using a very, uh, very common image of, uh, of a wedding banquet in, the, in his time, which would be uh, a, an experience that lasted over a couple of days. And uh, but with the cultural traditions, it would take, uh, sometimes the groom would be long delayed for different reasons. Uh, but at the end, he, when he appeared, everybody had to be ready. Uh, and so uh, th these foolish virgins remind us that uh, even when Jesus comes now, that we all have to be ready. And, we're, and so preparing to meet the Lord means that we keep our lamps filled with oil and we continue to uh, have some reserve. And so the way that applies to all of us, of course, is that by our simple constancy and the practice of our faith, that we continue to be people who uh, gather with the community because as we teach that we're never more Catholic than when we gather around the table at the altar together. Uh, we, we continue to be people who at the end of mass say go out into the whole world and bring our Catholic faith, the, the seeds that hopefully grow up everywhere in the world and affect who we are, affect the whole world by what we say and what, by what we do. This is connected to last week's gospel in that all of us who uh, <clears throat> recognize that God has given each one of us some talent, some grace, and uh, some desire to do his will. We mix all of those together. That's the, the formula for holiness. And this week we learned that that formula for holiness has to be practiced over and over and over. And we're invited to be wise, uh, like the, fi the five wise virgins, just to, to always have enough in our pocket to be able to uh, live our faith. That means, of course, that as I say to people all the time, that we need to be reminded that uh, the way we fill our pockets is by, uh, by get, again, gathering every Sunday, by our own individual prayer, uh, by our works of charity and mercy that we do. Uh, sometimes we do them as a, as a community. Uh, other times we do them individually. You can see people, if you go down to Life Ridge or the Salem Food Pantry, people one by one show up and form a little community to serve those who are less well off than they are. And again, that's a, uh, the example of someone who's filling up their, uh, their bag with oil, uh, the oil of mercy, the oil of compassion, uh, the oil of service uh, to God's people, uh, particularly those who are most vulnerable and hurting in this time. That's the way that uh, we, <clears throat> we prepare ourselves for the bridegroom, so that when Jesus appears, and whether it's a, uh, an extraordinary moment, as sometimes is uh, prophesied in the, uh, in the book of Revelation at the end of time with the trumpets and uh, the angels and all of the, uh, the glorious vision that John gave to us, or whether it is uh, our, own, uh, our own death that in which we, we, face the, we go to the Lord uh, one by one. Hopefully what we uh, experience is that God says this to us, I know you. And what we will finally be able to see perhaps for the first time because God has so humbly hidden himself around us in the world, we'll say, oh my gosh, I know you. And in that way, uh, we are again uh, welcomed into the banquet and because we, are, we, have, we, will, we will be people who have been found to have continued to uh, live our lives as, uh, as, as in growing, trying to grow in holiness. That's the call. I spoke about that last week, and it continues to be the call for the rest of our days. That's the, the oil of our lamp, uh, God's holiness, which is given to us as a free gift, which we can constantly fill up in ourselves by, again, by our practices, by our, uh, by our words, uh, by our prayer together and, and as individuals. As we continue to pray the, the rest of the Mass this day, perhaps we might ask the Lord to help us to be people who uh, continue to strengthen the, our character by strengthening our desire and our longing for holiness and by strengthening our, our practice of it. 
in this, that we might prepare ourselves in this world in order to see the Lord in the next. And God bless you in this week.